Uh, another tip people buy, mostly buy split paddles, which is great, um, which gives you variability often with shaft length and shaft feather. Um, so I would sort of recommend that you might want to start experimenting with the feather you use. So the old adage of having quite a big feather, 45 or 50 degree feather is fine. Um, and the old sort of theory was that you can slice through the wind um, if you're paddling into the wind with a, with a feather that's 60 or 90 degrees. The only problem with that on the sea is that wind directions change all the time. So that could then mean that you get a side wind on and you lose any advantage of that. Yeah, the disadvantages of having a feather are obviously you've got to do quite a lot of rotation with your wrist. And if you're touring, that can cause a lot of problems, yeah, especially if you've got a tight wrist seal, etc. So try dropping down your feather, experiment with your feather a little bit, and um, see what works. The less feather you get, then the less rotation you've got to do with your wrist. Yeah, the wind problem's always going to be the same, but then again, you know, if you're paddling into wind, that's, that's ideal, isn't it? Um, and uh, you'll find, you should find that you've probably, if you've got any wrist problems, you might find that, that actually sorts the problem out. It's also quite good for support strokes either side. So I would just experiment with dropping that feather down a little bit, find out what's comfortable for you.